I was at one of my best friend's houses when I was writing the recipes for this book and she is super stressed. She works 70 hours a week. She has no time to cook and I was making her this tagine and she took it in for lunch the next day and I remember her calling me going, I cannot believe how much I energy I have from eating that food last night. And so I then went over and showed her how to prep on a Sunday night and it basically changed her life and it showed her that she can cook healthy food. It gave her the confidence in the kitchen to actually prepare it herself. So I'm going to show you how to make this very same tagine with Koli couscous so that you can stay well prepared for the week ahead. So first off we're going to prepare our tagine and it's really important to get those spices in there. The flavour has to come through, it's got to punch through your taste buds and really send you into a spiral. So what I'm going to do is we've got some delicious fresh garlic and onion. Very simple ingredients that we're just going to chop up. So if you can see down here, I've got some pre-cooked butternut squash and also some blanched green. So all you have to do is saute down some garlic and onion and some spices. So some of the flavors I'm gonna add in here, you might wonder why I'm adding cinnamon because cinnamon is so wonderfully sweet. It's also fantastic at regulating your blood sugar levels. And then once that starts to absorb, reduce some fresh tomatoes. I like the vine ones the best because they have the most flavor and you have the sauce for the most delicious tagine. While that's reducing, we're going to make our cauliflower rice. So all you're going to do is cut off the bottom and cut it into florets and chuck it in our food processor. So the consistency we're looking for is basically like a rice. And you can see the small little pieces and that's what we're going to use for our rice base. So instead of couscous with our tagine. So we're going to add just a bit of oil to the pan and again, some more chopped garlic. We're then gonna add some cumin seeds, a nice big tablespoon, and let that heat up. And one of the things that I love so much about this recipe is it tastes like Morocco. It tastes like it should do. It tastes full of fragrance and flavor. Once the garlic has started to soften up, we're gonna add in the cauliflower rice, and you're gonna hear a little bit of a sizzle, and you just wanna stir it through. So two of the other flavors that really remind me of Morocco is mint and coriander. And I've got some fresh mint and coriander that I'm gonna chop through here as well. Nice big pinch of salt. And just leave that to cook on a low heat. So I'm now gonna add my roasted butternut squash. And this is just literally to heat it up. There's no cooking needed because it's all pre-cooked on the Sunday night. Chuck in the green beans that are pre-blanched and a nice handful of coriander. And then I'm just gonna add some olives for an authentic flavor. So I suppose the hardest bit of this recipe is plating up. So there's my tagine Koli couscous. It's so quick to make, 10 minutes on the table. There's no excuses. It's simple and it's absolutely delicious. It tastes authentic.